Hello, our lovers. Thank you for tuning in for another lesson. Since we were talking about um, tone paper, in this lesson, I will draw a head with um, a male head with tone paper. At the beginning, let's quickly and draw the basic proportion of the head. Proportion and also angle. Quickly, so I just really quickly suggest the uh, placement of the head. So just quickly indicating the feature and I will just qu quickly indicating the nose and mouth and chin things like that the basic proportions In this uh, drawing, I would do more of a basic outline drawing instead of a, what I usually do for the other portrait drawing. And as you can see, I also do a lot of uh, this kind of a basic mapping because I have done a lot. That's why when uh, I was working on the other freehand style. I was capable to do without sketching. Just because all this sketching was inside my head before I start doing the drawing. As you can see on this paper, it's a darker brownish color. And that means uh, I can work a little more on the light area and figure out what is the percentage that I can preserve not touching for the paper and also adding the white chalk on top later on. That's it really important before you put in any other suggestion on top other darker value, etc. You have to know your subject before putting marks onto the page. Don't draw and then try to figure out what's going on. You should have an idea what you, you are drawing and the value patterns, how are you going to um, Navigate on top of the page. What I mean is do more planning ahead of time before you're actually working on top of the page. So that way you will have less issues later on. Now I'm just really quickly suggest the basic proportion. As you can see, I'm quickly mapping everything that I need for me to move forward. Now, when I'm looking at my subject, uh, I need to plan out what's going on. 
such as the um, brighter mid-tone area, I need to add some white and also reserve the area for the hair, some of the hair, and also on the gold teeth um, to not put chalk on top actually. Let the paper do some work and figure out which area that the value, darker value can appear. So at this point, in, in the meanwhile I'm drawing, I try to figure out a lot of things at once. As I said, don't just keep drawing and then after you draw, then, then you try to figure it out. At the beginning, you should already have an idea. So that is important. Map in the info in your head before you pursuing your process. So that is a basic layout. And then I'll go ahead uh, try to do some more indication where the uh, light and shadow, bone structure, etc. The next thing I need to erase out some part of the drawing that I don't need it. Just to keep the area a little bit cleaner. Of course, later on I can uh, just do like what I have done before with, uh, with the background. I can also use a background as a cleanup element to make the surface appear uh, a lot more stronger. Up to this stage, I am just going to quickly uh, suggest where are the shadows and put in a simple tone. Okay, I have mapped in the basic tones. And now I can go ahead and modify a little more. And heading towards the a little more deeper mid tone. And I have to be careful not to go into certain area. Um, to put in too much dark tone. So, I'm going to make sure the ears are also a little bit more flattened. As I said, uh, at this point, you should already have an idea uh, where it's going to have the white the brightest area using the white and where that you don't have to. You you can allow the paper to do some work for you. And don't work too hard with the tone paper, I would say. Since the paper is only offering some shortcuts for you. Why you want to do more, right? So if the paper can give you some help, use it. Um, as much as you can. So that way, the white can actually be even more effective. But of course, I have shown that there are different ways to use the white chalk before. If you want to use the white chalk on, also on the uh, mid-tone area and everything else you cover with the uh, charcoal and then you can redefine the white area that's fine I'm just uh, suggesting that mm, you can alternate the mid-tone value a little bit more so you don't need to work as much that's what I'm trying to say okay so there's no really right or wrong way to do it as long as we can reach the uh, to the final goal that's all what counts so i need to erase a little bit 
get ready for the white to come forward. As I said, the highlight may be a little bit brighter, a little bit on the bright side of the face. I will use white. Otherwise, I will try to use more of the paper instead. Let the paper to do some um, to, to do some work for me. So the paper is doing more of the mid-tone. As I said, I don't need to work as hard, actually. The harder part for me to do work more is the uh, thinking part. Figure out what is not necessary to use and what is necessary to use. So that is harder for me to do. So everything is quite flat at this point. But which is fine. That's what we are um, looking for. Doesn't have to be so complicated at this point. This is just the midsection. And I will give a little more mid tone onto the hair. So as you can see, the mid-tone, the darker mid-tone is already set up. And the next thing that uh, we can do, which is quickly subject the brighter mid-tone area with the eraser at this point. Since this is not a portrait lecture, I will not go into much details about drawing the portrait, but rather discuss with the idea for using tone paper. But it just happened to that uh, I'm using a portrait as uh, an example. So. In this drawing, I'm not going to spend too much time to develop, to, um, to refine up the artwork because uh, the main point is to show how to use tone paper. Uh, it's not the main point to show the portrait how it is done. So uh, I'll probably just focus on the main structure area with the, uh, with the light tone area after a little more, a little bit more of uh, basic structure indication. Then I will move ahead and go ahead and add in some white tone, and to finalize the drawing. And I'm trying to make this video uh, shorter, um, about thirty minutes. So, not too much of refinement I can do uh, in about thirty minutes. So. I just have to cut down some of the details and get the point across really quickly. Otherwise, I will be missing the point for this video. Okay, as you can see, um, I kind of um, put in some tone. 
in the dark and also the dark mid tone area. Okay, I have reserved some of the brighter area. And this, which is the brighter area, I'm not going to touch uh, at the moment. But uh, I will add in the white tone with the white chalk. And also I have, even on the hair area, some of the area I did not touch with the, uh, with the charcoal. So it will allow me to do some drawing on top later on. And I'm just going to give it a little preparation and texture on top of the little bit brighter hair area, the sections. So in this, in this case, more brighter tone can apply on top later on. As I said, have to calculate reserve and then execute what you need to do so this is not a refined drawing as I said but enough for you to see what can be done with the tone paper Okay, um, mostly is set up. So the next step for me to do, which is um, adding the white tone on top of the uh, drawing. First, I would just suggest where the highlight is going to be. At this point, I'm not going to draw really, really bright. I'm just uh, indicating where are my highlight is going to be and then do more refinement on top later on as you can see I'm quite careful to put in my white chalk not everywhere once again calculate where they need to be In this area right here it's a little bit The highlight is going to be right here, and also some brighter tone is going to be right here. As you can see, I'm not pushing the Y value too quickly. Some people just directly and put on top and call it a day. Once the white chalk put on top of the surface, you can actually see a little bit better how the paper actually interacting with the drawing and also the separation will increase with the uh, line dark value. As you can see, I'm only adding small amount of uh, white on top right now. 
I will increase more and more once uh, more of the area is uh, covered with the indication of the white. So as I said, this side I'm not going to touch with the white chalk. Only the brightest area be selective. Once again, um, this is a, a short demo. So I will not go in for too much details, but try to get the, the point across. It is getting a little bit brighter and brighter. So, even here on the forehead, I'm going to increase the value. So as you can see, the value been increasing throughout the whole drawing. I mean, my highlight also need to be increased more to remain the stronger contrast. As you can see, I push the contrast a little bit more. And you can see the difference really quickly. And sometimes, if the contrast is a little bit too much, what should I do? All you have to do, not erase, but dab. Dab it out. Just like that, see? You don't want to smear it outside. I can do a little bit more cleanup. To uh, spread out the mid tone and the bright tone a little bit more. To give it a nicer transition to the uh, the chipong area. Area. There's supposed to be a little bit of highlight, so let me dab out a little.
and I would like to keep a bit more transitions to the highlight area, not just all suddenly become so bright. Of course, highlight on the nose, also need to push. One thing, as I said earlier, you don't want to smear the white. You can dab on top, but not smear. Okay, once, uh, if you're gonna smear on top, it will look a little bit dirty. So on the mustache area, I'm just gonna take my time, do a few, not all, but just a few. Leave some space for the hair to look more like hair. So it's about finished with a, a quick result. As you can see, it does not need that much effort for me to do the mid-tone because the paper have helped me to define some of the mid-tone area automatically. So allow me to do more other stuff, which is uh, if I have more time, of course, I would deal with the darker shadow area as well. But at this point, I don't need to. As I said, this is only a, a quick lecture, a quick demo. So uh, if you guys have seen one of my drawing, George, um, that is the more refined uh, usage of um, white chalk and also with the tone paper. So, in this case, as you can see, how much of the paper I try to utilize without um, doing too much. I'm only going to put a certain area for the hair, not every single bit of it, once again. And also, some darker tone would help. And I'm using a, a longer stick, this way I can see better, and applying the value on top of the surface better. Big area, I use smaller stick. Small area, I use longer stick. So I can see. It sounds like more oxymoron, but that's how I can explain the process and the way that I use my material. As I said, this is a Really simple, straightforward portrait drawing with tone paper. And I can use the paper to do a little bit more 
uh, light, lighter gray tone area. So not just a uh, white chalk by combining with the paper and the dark tone of the charcoal. So I can leave it like this or I can add a little bit more for the background to make the image appear even stronger. Okay, um, this is pretty much it for a quick study. So, I hope you like the video. Please click like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.